this is how I look at life. Ain't nobody want to be that guy who gets invited to the game day party and people talk behind his back and say, you know, why did you invite that dude? He never brings anything other than his drunk to the game, right? Ain't nobody want to be that person. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I'm going to show you how you don't have to be that person. And if you happen to be that person, well, you're, you're one hell of a slacker. So great job, Patrick. You know, I'm going to show you how to make a recipe that is super simple, tons of flavor and a lot of fun. All right. We start with some boiled water. This is kind of like boiling water 101 for all my mates out there. You just start the heat source down there, put your water over that, let it start boiling. For all you bachelors out there, this is what boiling water looks like. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some macaroni out of this macaroni and cheese box, and dump it in. I've already removed the cheese from it. Give this a quick stir. Notice I put the wooden spoon over the top there. There's a reason that'll help when it, it starts trying to bubble over. But another trick I have is add salt to the water because that'll help the noodles or pasta or whatever from sticking together. I'm just going to take four pinches of salt because you can tell they're already starting to stick together. Look at that. Looks good. I'm just going to cut the meat. And for this I'm just using 80-20. 80% meat, 20% fat. I just like the flavoring that extra fat gives it. Drop it into the pan. I'm going to add some onion powder to this. I mean, there's going to be enough onion woo, dang, later, but I'm going to add some garlic powder. Start smashing it up a little bit. Add a little extra oil to it. Perfect. We're going to throw it on the Cuisinart 360. Now, because we already have the water boiling on the barbecue, I'm going to use the Cuisinart 360 to cook the meat here. That's going to be a little slower. Perhaps once the pasta gets done boiling, I can move it over there to kind of speed things up a little bit, but this shouldn't take long. I mean, it's cast iron. Cast iron is going to heat up real fast. Took about 12 minutes for our pasta noodles to get done, but they are done, ready to go. I'm just going to take this strainer, take it over to the garbage can and drain it. Going to take our thing of cheese here, give it a nice slice. Start pouring it on. What I like to do is just roll it. And I don't worry about, you know, doing like half and then trying to mix it up. Because there's enough heat in here, residual heat, that it's going to melt this cheese. So you notice I'm not using cast iron. For one, I was boiling water. And cast iron and water just don't like to play together. But two, this handle on this one doesn't get hot. So I don't have to wear gloves. There we have it. We're going to let this thing uh, do its magic. And now we're going to look at our meat. With our mac and cheese done, I just want to try something. So I just took the keto and put mac and cheese on it. That's it. Meat's coming along. Oh, it's almost there. Look at that. Nice. That'll be pretty dang cool. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to cook these things either. There you go. Check that bad boy out. That, yeah, just macaroni. All right, it's time to finish off our meat. So I'm just going to put in about a half a cup of water. Some taco seasoning. You put in as much as you want. That's why I like these big bottles. 
because I can put in as much as I want. Stir it in. You notice I didn't get rid of the fat either. And the reason being is fat is flavor. So I thought I would just leave it in there. Besides, when I go to scoop this stuff out and put it into the taquito, the fat's just gonna stay behind. Now it's time to have some fun because we have taken the meat off. So got our mac and cheese one. Take a little bit of meat here. Put it on there. That's kind of like a, a taco mac and cheese tostada. I kind of like that combination. Pretty cool. Or mac and cheese taco tostada. That sounds kind of cool too. We're just going to roll it. I'll put it down on the flat top. Now I do have some hot oil on here. We don't want to leave these things on too long or they might burn. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, we got a straggler bit or two. That's okay. But overall, it's looking really good. I mean, check that thing out. I think it's cool. Let's get of a flip. Nice. I'm just going to take that off. Roll us up another one. Because, hey, why not? Put it down. Just give it a flip. Carefully give it a flip. Dang, that looks good. You know you want some. Mmm. Mac and cheese. And our mac and cheese taco tostado. Or taco mac and cheese tostado. Whatever you want to call it. Excellent. Check it out. I'm thinking about a minute each side works for this really well. Excellent. There you have it. What do you think? In case you haven't noticed or you're new to the channel, I've been having a lot of fun with this angle lately. Just look at these. This is our mac and cheese one. I think it's perfect. Just perfect. This was our first, I don't know, mac and cheese, taco, meat, tostado, whatever you want to call it, I'll let you figure it out. Not so, it looks good. I mean, look at that thing. There's our second one. Perfect. Let's have to try it. <laughs> oh man, that's a bomb. Holy moly. I was going to recommend, let's put some sour cream on this, and I'm going to try it anyways, but still, it doesn't need it. There's no way in heck. Hmm. Still great without it. I really want to try this one. This is our mac and cheese taquito. Really good with sour cream. Let's try it by itself because there's a certain texture to this. It's just awesome. Mmm. Hands down, either one of these are rock. You saw how we made them. These things. So flipping good. I'm telling you. You will not be that guy when you go to that game day party. People are going to love this stuff, and you better double or triple up on this, man. And I would make, I'd probably do all three. I'd do one, and we didn't do this one, but just all meat. It's like a normal taquito, I guess. One with a combination mac and cheese and meat, and one with just meat, or 
and one with just mac and cheese. All three of them are good. I'm going to tell you what, the kids are going to devour the mac and cheese one. You know, recently I was part of a shout out and I want to give a couple shout outs before we leave. One, of course, is my cousin Patrick. You guys all know him, Patty Joe Cook, and love him to death. The next one is Kevin over at Man Kitchen Recipes. He's great. He's done several shout outs. He's got an alter ego named Brad, who's a slacker, just like I am. So make sure to check him out. Great guy. We've got Chappie. Chappie's got a great channel, and make sure to say hi to Mookie when you go over there. All these guys are going to have links down below. And then there's Cocktail Tony. Cocktail Tony's got a great channel, and he's also got this, like, New York voice, you know, or, or accent. It's just great. All right, guys, you saw how we make this. Check it out. Love you. Peace. And we'll see you on the next episode.